Welcome to Everything Gets Berated, the Patreon exclusive podcast for our main podcast, Berated B Rated Movies. Uh, this is the podcast where we talk about all the <laughs> movies, documentaries, and TV shows that we shouldn't talk about on our main podcast. Uh, well, I won't say shouldn't, but aren't. Uh... I think kind of how the name says, man. Everything is going to get berated on this one. Yeah. Honestly. No mercy. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can do it that way. But sorry, cut you off, Anthony. But well, uh, now everybody knows that you're Anthony. Yeah. I'm Anthony. Um, <laughs> everybody say hi. <laughs> hi. No, he was talking to. And I, as always, it's Brian. And with us today for this episode is my son, Kane. So you can say what's up, Kane. Hi. <laughs> All right. You're getting too crazy over there, bro. And Levi. All right. Hi. What's up, Levi? So, yeah. So Hello. today we're doing President's Man. All right. Guess yeah. you're just taking over, huh? <laughs> Yeah, this is a, um, a a TV movie from uh, from 2000, starring Chuck Norris, directed by Eric Norris, uh, and produced by Aaron Norris. So it's the whole damn uh, the whole Norris clan. It's the whole Norris clan. Yeah. So this Dude. is the uh, this, the story of the President's Man is uh, how do, how do I say this? He's uh, when the president has a problem. He doesn't call special forces. Uh, he doesn't call soft. He doesn't call uh, any any major or the Navy SEALs. He doesn't call any of them. He calls the president's man. And that just so happens to be the most dangerous man in the world. Chuck <laughs> motherfucking Norris. <laughs> right? So. Yeah. Can we start the movie? Yes, dude, man. when... We first started this. Well, you watched the movie before I did, you know, and you were telling me about the beginning of the movie. And so I started watching. Apparently, there's a present man, too. Yes. That I started watching. And um, I'm just going to say that for any Chuck Norris fans out there, don't watch these movies. <laughs> you know, like I'm usually pretty nice. You know, like I really enjoy movies, you know, but I think I started watching this one, number two, and I was texting you how angry I was watching it. Yes, I could feel and then your anger. I remembered what you said. You're like, oh, yeah, within the first like couple of minutes, this lady tries to pick up on him. And I was like, dude, it's been 35 minutes. Chuck Norris hasn't, you know, even gotten out of an airplane yet. And so I looked at info and it's like, this is the president's man too. And I was like, God <laughs> damn it. And I was so pissed because I, like, it's not to me, it doesn't seem like it was a movie. And I mean, it probably like, I didn't do any research on this at all. Like I always don't, but to me, it seems like it was like a Hallmark movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, it's made for TV. Yeah, because while they're doing it, they're literally fading to black, adding commercials, and they're doing like the, what do you call it? The soap opera stare. Oh, so I was yeah. Like, he killed my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no, have a normal conversation. So I love, you know, um, real Chuck Norris movies. You know yeah. what? Enter the Dragon, um, what? Lone Wolf McCloud. Um, oh my God! Now the one we fought, David Carradine. Oh yeah, I can't think of the name of it right now, but yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, what is that? I can't. Oh, I can't think of the name, but yeah, know, we're gonna have to search this now. No, I was gonna say the Delta Force. Yes, I yeah. think that was it. Too. Dead. Are yeah. we just uh, reviewing notes, or are we going to 